Hey guys, bringing you another one. But before we start, y'all motherfuckers want to know what I just went through? <laughs> let me let me increase the size of this fucking screen. Last night, from time of this recording, so not the time of this video, tried streaming. Motherfucking was it? Did I just get the whatever? I don't care. <laughs> whatever. I I I don't I don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. Point is, last night tried streaming Honkai Star Rail. OBS did not, like, took ex great exception to that. Couldn't get it working. Decided, okay, you know what? I'll continue Emerald. Tried to, tried to do a restream. I'm not sure what you guys on YouTube got. I think, I think it was working fine on YouTube. But the Twitch guys, all they got was a fucking black screen for 40 minutes. So, I think Pokemon's cursed. Sure. And for some reason, Honkai Star Rail and OBS and Twitch just don't agree with each other. One of the flaws with doing this is you need, like, three or four different software to interact with each other in a way that doesn't self-destruct them. Any one of them aren't working, you're fucked. That's kind of, that. that's just the end of it. So, Emerald can go fuck itself. For a time being, Honkai Star Rail can go fuck itself. We're going to be, so when I get back from doing army stuff, we'll just be doing a quick stream, hopefully if that works, with Gundam Evolution, and call it from there. Otherwise, if you do get Honkai Star Rail, it'll be in the form of a recording rather than a live stream. Sorry about that, is what it is. Anyway, on to the main event. Oops. Yeah, on to the main event. On to the main event. The Better Mark II. Sorry, I felt like I just had to air out my frustrations real quick, because it's, it's been a frustrating couple of days. Alright, let's go. Approaching combat area. Begin sortie. There we go. We have the Hazel Custom, or just the Hazel, or his, is it? It's the Hazel, the original one. The one with the big old honking shield. Have it in Titan's colors. Now, when this thing was introduced, even after it was introduced, it pretty much Begin all but mission. replaced the Gundam Mark II in the meta. This is a 500 general. And we're here on Arctic base, you know. You know, this map. Okay. This is also this is also recorded just after the, the GPO one buffs. You know, it's kind of a dick move for them to buff a raid at this on the same week as releasing a support new support type. Kind of a dick move. Like how do you Minor damage. No need for Okay, so you release the support. That's the same rank or the same tier as a raid that you bought. Kind of a dick move. Anyway, what makes this thing so good over the Mark II is, I, well, first of all, I believe it's bulkier than the Mark II. It has a slightly better shield than Mark II, I believe. I actually get them both that shit. Try to get them, try to get both of them that's going no such way. But it's all about that shield booster. Now, if you're just talking without shields, it's... Performance is kind of ass. And I am kind of embarrassed at this. Your mobile suit has been destroyed. Yeah, managed to kill me. But... At base, this thing has like, what, 55 now boost? And with the way I run it, I can get 65 on it. But the magic is that Select shield booster. Where and how to so long again. as you still have your shield, you get what is basically maneuver armor. And you get a thruster increase, both in terms the of your speed and your beacon. thruster gauge. So this thing, I think, has effectively 75 or 80 thruster, Requesting the way I run it. And it's just about as fast beacon as the Mark II, maybe slightly slower. Maybe very, very slightly slower. But, unfortunately, it does not have the damage output of the Mark II. So it's sacrificing damage for bulk, essentially, is what's going on here. It's melee is not Usha. It's melee doesn't do as much damage. The enemy has secured a beacon. Yeah, that's kind of a mistake I've been having. I've been trying to, I wanted to switch to my uh, machine gun. Yeah, it's better than the Mark II simply for the fact. It's basically a Mark II with maneuver armor. That's, assen that's essentially no what it is. So slightly less damage, but it has maneuver armor. That's kind of the deal. And if you're trying to win, and you're trying to, like, gain rank points like I am, and just try to not so much carry, but just do well, this is a pretty good suit to go with. I think this is the level, I think this is, yeah, this was 550, so it'd have to be the level 2, I hope. 
I wait for someone to walk under me. No such luck there. We won the first team fight, though we're all kind of weak in a little. I have the most health out of anybody, but that's not saying a whole lot. Yeah, I got like five of them coming up out towards us, so it's just a matter of doing as much damage as we can. I don't think I'm going to get out of this one. I hope to do at least a little bit of damage, but nope. I managed to get tackled. Always nice. So we lost that team fight, ended up losing the score, but all of them should be at least low-ish on health, around the two-thirds. So if we all spawn at once, we should be able to take it back from them. And that guy spawned early. Damn, so these guys are going to be on their own for a hot minute. But with the Hazel, you play it pretty much like you do any other general in the game, but it has maneuver armor so and a dodge, so that makes it better. So long as it has its shield, once it loses its it shield, it, yeah, you start, you're going to start running into problems. Because without its shield, it doesn't have maneuver armor, it doesn't have its speed, and it doesn't have its boost gear. Surprised I actually killed, believe it or not. Not for sure I hit him with the shield there. That guy missed by a country mile. But he has maneuver on the two, so fair enough, right? Now here I probably just should have boosted and just gone for the melee. Because I should have known he didn't have any boosts there because he just dodged. But I didn't. I just decided to spray him with the machine gun. Fair enough, he's dead. Again, this thing has maneuver armor, you can just do shit like that. Well, effectively has maneuver armor. I have to be, I have to be careful what I say there. Unfortunately, with the way this thing is kitted out, it does not have very many medium slots, so you can't just run, you know, shield defense, shield defense, shield defense, so you keep these benefits as long as possible. But it also means you're losing out on stuff like, you know, level 2, level 3 reload, overheat, shit like that. The game slots are, more, are probably the least important uh, slot, but they're also more important than you think. I think I managed to get some damage on him. I think this thing is even better than GPO one technically. Again, this thing has maneuver on. If a Hazel started, yeah, yeah, the Hazel tried doing that shit, we would just boost the pass, no problem. And just to hit me in the back with that. No need for concern. You know, I gotta be cheeky. You know, a nice little thank you for shooting me in the back, you dumb bitch. Starting to get pushed back here. But also because the shield is so freaking big, you can kind of just turn to the, turn to the right a little and be almost completely secure. Two minutes left in the mission. GPO 3, not the bulk is targeting the world. Easy to kill if you can get a beat on it. Just boost there to dodge out of the GPL1. Kill that motherfucker. And then GPL1 behind me, but I need to wait for... Oop! So behind me. And I lost my shield. Now we are running a very slow, but still decently bulky, uh, guy here. Still got force injectors, so that's not so bad. But again, you only have maximum base 65, uh... Boost gauge. To get him here. Yep. Enemy soldier eliminated. So no base bombing for you. Kind of annoyed I didn't just straight up kill him, but whatever. So even though we lost that team fight, still have the lead. One minute left. A lot of them are low. So long as we push and push hard, we should win. And I think they're trying to, they can't base bomb it, but they're trying to destroy the base. That's kind of their only way of doing this, because we can just kind of sit in base and do nothing. The enemy has secured a beacon. Time. Yep. Requesting to sortie. I'll jump in, yep. I'll jump in at once. In our base. That bomb literally doesn't matter. There we go, got the nice and powerful kill. Try to stay away so that they can't 
so they're unlikely to do damage to me. Stun him, stop doing anything else. He dies, but we're good. I guess he doesn't dodge roll out of that. He could have, but whatever. We win. Outside, this is stressful. Trying to, like, grind rank points in this game is an exercise in frustration. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, this is the kind of thing it can do just because it, of the tools it has. Now, I don't know where in the fuck 122,000 damage came from. But we take those. No idea where it came from because I was just taking pot shots most of or most of the round. I'm not sure. I'd like. I'm not sure where all of that came from. But we take it. Let's see how many kills we got. Also, I was most targeted. That's nice. Five and three. So assist score. Assist score. Assist score is all right. Thirty-seven hundred. The score was mine. Was that a fourth? I think we're just getting... trying to do the mental math here. Let's just, call, let's just round everything down and call it a fourth. So we take those. Anyway, guys. Like I said, I'll be off doing army stuff for the time being. You should be getting this on Friday. I'll be back Sunday. So with that, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good shenaniganery. And I will see you next time. Here are your rewards from this battle. Imagine what we get here. Ah, good enough. See ya.